All right, welcome to another episode. This episode, we're going to be working on the fuel system. Now, you might be wondering why would we be working on the fuel system? The car started already, so wasn't the fuel system up and running? Well, watch this. All right, so here we have some essential pieces that we need to add to the fuel system. Currently, the, what we have is just the steel braided lines going from the tank to the engine, from the regulator, return to the tank. Now, when we did this setup, there are some things that we had missed out. One was the fuel filter, and the next was the surge tank. Now, the surge tank is essential to preventing surge. So, fuel surge, you, you'll encounter fuel surge when it is that you go through hard corning and you tend to have the fuel swish swish away from the from the pump pickup and in that you encounter a surge now with the surge tank what happens is that you have fuel being being um, pumped from the main tank to this tank and it will fill this tank and then overflow and return to the main tank so this tank will always stay full it will always have have a high level now this search tank that i decided to use is designed such that the pump can fit in the tank i find this to be a neater setup you have other setups where it is that you have you'll have um a suction from below you have your um, attach a strainer and then you put on your fuel pump but I opted for the design where it is that the pump is in the tank right so what will happen now is that you'll have the inlet from the main tank and an overflow and then this now will suck from the tank and supply to the engine and the return from the engine will go back to this tank so at no point in time will this tank be low. Um, the fittings that we'll be using are dash six going right through and we'll also have these retainers which I'll be using on um on the on the hoses to try and get some neatness going on. Now one problem I had encountered when I was buying these fittings, which I'll be using, um, I'll be using these fittings on the on, on the braided line. The problem that um that I had encountered was that I had bought the wrong fittings initially, which were these. Um, I think the term is PT. I don't remember the chem the chemical term for 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 the steel braided lines, but. It's a braided line with the Teflon lining on the inside, right? So you have different braided lines. You have some with rubber, I have some with the tef with the, with the Teflon lining. Now the one with the rubber, how it's designed is that this fitting, you simply screw it off. You push this over the over the hose that you um you're going to put it on, and then you push this down and it will tighten, and you lock up and you're good to go. But the Teflon isn't this um the Teflon type braided line isn't designed like that. This one has has a ferrule, an expanding ferrule. So what will happen? You put this over over the braided hose, then you fit the the it, um the this onto the, the, the Teflon piece, the ferrule onto the Teflon piece. Then it is that you you put this in and un unscrewing it up it will um, compress this it will compress this and create a seal that the hose will, will, will stay together so these are the fittings that we have I'm going to put this together I'm going to show you how it is that I plan to map everything in the car all right so here are the the 
two braided lines and my plan is I'm going to mount the filter somewhere along here secure the search tank here and here is where the the um the outlet and return is from the main tank so I have a faint idea exactly how I'm going to do it this is basically it so now what I'm going to do is to get some measurements done on on these hoses inlet and outlet and then um and then I'll see also what I need to do to get to to the fuel filter and back to the engine so the first order of business is to remove these in stainless steel lines and I'm going to flush them out because I'm going to be using an angle grinder to to cut them and you wouldn't want to be using an angle grinder on something that ha that um that is that has flammable fluid in it so I'm going to just get some and flush it out ensure so it don't have any more fuel in there and um, I'll show you how how it is that we assemble the braided lines to to these fittings now when you get in the search tank you see they they give you these o-rings this is to help seal um, the fitting to to the tank so you don't have any leaks so you just install each of them And then we could use some thread tape on these. We get some thread tape, install on these, and screw them down. Now this is my very first time ever doing this. Never done it before. Alright. So to take the measurements as to where you want to cut, you can get a piece of wire and you can do um the measurements. Um but what I'm doing, I am going to use the actual line that I'm going to that I'm going to cut and learn and, and and from installing it this way i can get to learn what is it that i need to take into account so things that i'm going to that i've seen so far that i need to take into account is the area that it's going to be working in and also uh, when it is that it's going to be hooked up um it's going to be pushed onto this how much of the hose is it that i'm going to need to cut so you have to uh, um you have to work for the amount of Flex that you're going to 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 put put in it because you don't want it to, to to be exact, and also just the amount that you're going to work with, and and um and push onto the fitting. So as you can see here, we we'll have this bend. It's not too much of a strain on the um hose. All right, so we've chosen our area where we're going to cut. I'm going to put it in the vise, and then use my angle grinder to cut it
right, so now that we've cut, cut the hose, first you want to get this fitting slide slid over this. Right. Next up is you want to pull the braid a bit away such that you can get the ferrule in place. And it has a, a ring in there that it should stop at. So just want to open it up enough that it can travel as far as possible down and lock up. Now I do advise you wearing gloves because the braid, if it, if it is to free out, you don't want, you really and truly don't want to get touching that. Trust me. Right. As you can see here, the um well I don't know if you can see but if you look inside there is a ring. There's a ring here that the that the um that the Teflon stops at and so it goes straight up to that ring. So want to push it down until it reaches that point. Next, take the fitting, push inside.
Well, I really hope you did learn a lot from this episode as there was so much that was done and it was a new experience for me, you know, building the hoses. So um, a special thanks to my pack logistics. They are the ones who shipped in our parts and a huge thanks to Joel from Hosamore, Hosamore Sydenham. Um, that's where um, I, I go and I get my, my hoses and fittings whenever I'm ready. So do stay tuned. We have a lot more. We still have a lot more left on the car. Um, yes, I know some people are looking forward to the car driving, but there are a lot of things that we, a lot of little knick snacks that we have to sort out to get this car going. And we may not get it perfect, but we want to do it, get it done as best as possible. So, all right. Thanks for viewing.